Romeo is a very good man. Uh, we join him in the house of God to celebrate his birthday today. Romeo is highly detrabalized. Uh, there's no politics in Romeo's life. It, it, it takes you as you come, with respect of party affiliation. So today, I join him to appreciate God for what God has done for him. And I pray that God will do more for him. As he celebrates 50, so shall he celebrate 60, 70, 80, and 90. 100. So Amen. Amen. <laughs> My name is uh, Chief Oseni Elama. Amen. I'm the Okawiri of Benin Kingdom. Romeo Omeke is like a younger brother. And uh, he has worked closely with me. The, his entire family, they are part of my family. His immediate the younger brother, Innocent, was the one and the wife that took care of my immediate, my daughter while she was in, in uh, Abuja. So, Innocent, uh, Romeo is a very hardworking, aggressive, but at the same time, is humble. We wish him. I wish him the very best, and I wish him that he continue to do things that will earn him to maintain wearing that white, which he inherited from his father. Whenever he's not able to tell the truth, he should drop the white. It starts for integrity. I wanted to ask, because I know you to be someone that puts on white too, and he takes after that. I wanted to find out from you, why is Romeo always on white? If you know Romeo's father, we called him Mr. White. He was always the white. Because he stands for the truth. Very humble. And Romeo took a vow on his own to God that he will continue along his father's footsteps, wearing white. Because he will always tell the truth, no matter whose horse is God. He will speak truth to power. Whenever he's not able to do that, he, will, he has vowed, he will drop this white. So I believe... That line of honesty and integrity and humility goes with the dressing he's making now. Thank you very much. Romeo Emoike, a.k.a. Mr. White, is a young man that I have found to be very, very resilient and reliable. I got to know him in the year 2006 and 2007 when we began our campaign to go to Sadebe Avenue in Edo State. You recall I was a deputy to Comrade Downs and Louis Shemole. And Romeo became a veritable tool in our campaign, a veritable tool in our campaign. Reliable, dependable. His yes is his yes. And he is the people's, uh, the people's general. If you know Romeo, you know that Romeo is well grander with the masses, well, be it in Edo State, Delta, even here in Abuja. So I'm happy to be here today to join him and his family in thanking God for granting him 50 good years. I can tell you from what I know that those 50 years, they have been golden years. And I just pray to God to continue to bless him in health and in wealth, so that he will continue to contribute maximally to humanity. His impactful life has been such that everybody, wish, everybody wishes to be like him. I pray God continue to bless him and his family. And happy birthday to him, and congratulations in SSCs. Thank you so much. Bless you. I'm Aisha Omoiki. <laughs> want to find out whether it's the same person I know or not. Uh, you look beautiful, elegant, and uh, what are we doing today? Today is my brother-in-law's birthday, so we are here to thank God with him and to celebrate. What do you wish him? Ah, I wish him a very good life, longevity, good health, all the good things he wishes himself. I join my faith with his own and I pray for him for God to answer all his heart desires in Jesus' name. My name is Nelson King, Omoike Nelson King Romeo. I'm the first son of my father, and today we're celebrating his 50th birthday, Golden Jubilee. It's a very wonderful day today. Thank you all for coming. I'm so happy today that we're celebrating him. He's a very wonderful man. I'm grateful to have him as a father. One thing that struck me that I intend to ask you, how old are you? I'm 16. 16 minus 50. <laughs> 34. He's senior you with 34 years that your dad is 34 years older than you. Now, 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 what do you wish him? I wish him many more years, great health, and whatever he wishes himself. Your voice sounds like his own. After all, they, call, they say I'm a carbon copy of him. You are not. I don't need to tell you whether you are or not. I don't need to say that you are. 
I get it a lot that hey, uh, Mr. Romeo, your look at your son is like he looks like you. Do you vomit him out? It comes out very frequently whenever we go out to see his friends. Very soon, you are going to be like his brother. <laughs> we hope so. We hope so in the future. Uh, very soon, I give you more five years. <laughs> yes, I really expect that that I'll I'll be his best friend in the future with all the accomplishments I will make in, by the grace of God. What do you want to say about your mom? My mom, my mom is a very wonderful woman. She's a very lucky woman to have married my dad. I wish her many more things as we celebrate today. Let's we just hope for the best for him today and many more years to come. Your siblings? My siblings, my brother was lucky to come today. My sister wasn't able to come today due to her exams, but she will still be wishing from wherever she is as a family member. And my last born, my baby sister, she's, today is a very happy day for her because she's our dad's PA, personal assistant. So yes, this have kind of also a day too to enjoy. My name is Taiwa Kerele. I'm from Edo State. Former chief of staff, <laughs> Edo State government. Thank you very much. Why do you want me to go? <laughs> you already know me now. <laughs> you know you, but majority, but you as might not know exactly. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, of course. Romeo, Romeo cheated me with height, but in terms of facial appearance, uh, we, have, we, we look very much alike. He's my brother from another mother, actually. Yeah, I do need to carry. Of course, we don't carry that. We always take it first position in all parameters. And I'm very excited to be from Edo State. He's a brother, um, he's a partner. Romeo is a jolly good fellow. We've been coming together now for close to 15 years. I'm so happy to be associated with him. I'm proud of his courage. He's done so much. He has done so well for himself. Um, he's never tired of hard work. He's very committed to causes. He's a very loyal man. And uh, I share some ideology with him. Progressive ideology. You know, ideology on how to move the nation forward. Ideology on how to grow the youth. How to empower young people. How to develop communities. I have learned a lot from Romeo. His resilience, his courage, his commitment to nation building. Is, is highly exemplary. And I join you know, his colleagues, his friends, his brothers and family from all over the world, along with my immediate family, to wish him a very wonderful 50th birthday celebration today. Thank you very much. <laughs> my name is Romeo Aloayu Omoiti. So, <laughs> Junior Papa White. So, Mr. Yeah, Junior Papa White. Do you feel? Yeah. I don't know the word to qualify my excitement today, but I really want to use this opportunity to appreciate God, to thank God, and glorify God. Because God has been so faithful from the beginning, even up to this moment. And uh, by the special grace of God, God has also given me above my expectation in life. So I have not any other thing to continue to glorify God, to do the time God. Because if I look back where I'm coming from, and today by the special grace of God, I'm 50 years. I know it's God, 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 all the way. And we continue to be God Almighty. So my glory and my praise is worship and adoration. Go to God Almighty alone. You didn't preach by your celebration. God wanted you to go of the gift that produces another one. That's the one that you see. No, actually, God will see your shortcoming and God will glorify it in your life. He says that why? For those that know me, they know that I'm temperament, but if you understand me, we will get your friends. She has tolerated me and God gave me, God knows my weakness, so God decided to give me my strength. So she is my strength, even my shortcomings, she tolerates me. And uh, if I have to come to life today, I also want to marry her because she has really got a best to manage me for who I am. So it's not easy for 17 years now tolerating me, managing me, to know it's God Almighty alone. I'm so happy, I'm so happy to be part of this great story. It was so difficult. My husband, I used to have this uh, pessimistic thinking. And my husband is harsh and it's very difficult 
but through the journey with him, he has made me strong. The Lord has strengthened me, and I've seen his weakness and made me strong to be bold, to know that it will all end with me. What do you call those friends, followers, lovers, or listeners? I see the more uh, personality that you need to do. I know he has touched lives and I also know that um, he is a great man if you understand the best of what he said, if you understand him and you will enjoy him. It's a very good man. My name is Mrs. Hong. How are you? 